Vladimir Putin has admitted for the first time that the plan to annex Crimea was ordered weeks before the referendum on self-determination. Crimea was formally absorbed into Russia on March 18, to international condemnation, after unidentified gunmen took over the peninsula. Mr. Putin said on TV he had ordered work on returning Crimea to begin at an all-night meeting on February 22. The meeting was called after Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych was ousted. Speaking last year, Mr. Putin had said only that he took his final decision about Crimea after a secret. Sundated opinion poll showed 80% of Crimeans favored joining Russia. The findings of these polls were borne out by the outcome of the referendum on March 16, he told Russian state TV last April. Speaking in the forthcoming Russian TV documentary, Mr. Putin said the meeting with officials had been held on 22 to 23 February to plan the rescue of Ukraine's deposed president. I invited the leaders of our special services and the defense ministry to the Kremlin and set them the task of saving the life of the president of Ukraine, who would simply have been liquidated, he said. We finished about seven in the morning. When we were parting, I told all my colleagues, we are forced to begin the work to bring Crimea back into Russia. The trailer for the path to the motherland was broadcast on Sunday night with no release date announced. On February 27th. Unidentified armed men seized the local parliament and local government buildings in Crimea, raising the Russian flag. Among them appeared to be regular soldiers without military insignia, who were dubbed the Little Green Men. Mr. Putin subsequently admitted deploying troops on the peninsula to stand behind Crimea's self-defense forces. Line Timeline, How Crimea Was Annexed February 22 Former Ukrainian President Viktor Yanukovych flees Kiev after violent protests February 23, Russian President Vladimir Putin plans to rescue Mr. Yanukovych and annex Crimea February 27, pro-Russian gunmen seize Crimea's parliament and other key buildings February 28, unidentified soldiers in combat fatigues. Occupy two airports in Crimea March 1, Russian parliament approves Mr. Putin's request to use force in Ukraine March 16. 97% of voters in Crimea agree to join Russia March 18th. Mr. Putin signs a bill absorbing Crimea into the Russian Federation Ukraine crisis. Timeline Line The formal annexation of Crimea sparked unrest in eastern Ukraine on April 7, when pro Russian protesters occupied government buildings in Donetsk, Luhansk, and Kharkiv demanding independence. A month later, Pro-Russian separatists in Donetsk and Luhansk declared independence from Ukraine after unrecognized referendums. Ukraine responded by launching an anti-terrorist operation against them and the region became engulfed in a conflict which has cost at least 6,000 lives and driven more than a million people from their homes, according to the UN. The Ukrainian government Western leaders and NATO say there is clear evidence that Russia is helping the separatists with heavy weapons and soldiers. Independent experts echo that accusation. Moscow denies it, insisting that any Russians serving with the rebels are volunteers. Full details of Mr. Yanukovych's escape from Ukraine are unclear although Mr. Putin spoke of preparations to evacuate him from Donetsk. Heavy machine guns were placed there, so as not to waste time talking he added, with preparations made by land, sea and air. The documentary, which Russian TV says will be broadcast soon, was made by Andrei Kondrashev, a journalist with state-run channel Russia 1.